Well, he led a Fortune 500 company and was a fierce leader in the philanthropic world. Michael Nidwarf, the former CEO of Centene, died yesterday at the age of 79 after a long illness. Today, our Justina Cornell spoke to local leaders who were impacted by his work. She joins us live from Centene in Clayton. And Justina, what are people saying? Yeah, Michelle, so many are saying that they're just in awe of all the work he's been able to accomplish over the years, from the business side to all the organizations he was a part of. Michael Nydorf is unique. There, there is no one like Michael. From his leadership in the business world to his love of philanthropic work, Michael Nydorf was one of a kind. In 1996, he became the CEO of Centene. In his 25 years, Nydorf led the multi-million dollar company to a billion dollar success. He understood leadership like no one and I think that's his legacy. Down the street from Centene is another institute feeling the ripple effects of his work. The Nydorfs were a part of the Cole Renard congregation for years. It's one of the many places touched by their generosity. Our early childhood center needed to move and we could only move it uh, if we had the resources to build out space here. And the Nydorfs were so generous to give really a transformational lead gift. We're told investing in education and in the future was important for Nydorf. He saw the potential of children and what they could achieve through scouting. That's why he was also a part of the Greater St. Louis Boy Scouts of America, serving on the board for more than 30 years. Nydorf also had a passion for the arts, especially music. He became involved with the St. Louis Symphony Orchestra in the 80s and has been a part of it ever since. Michael was our board chair uh, in the 90s, so he led uh, very important decisions for the St. Louis Symphony uh, at a time in the 90s where there were a lot of changes in our industry. Nydorf left his mark everywhere he went, and it's no doubt his passion and his leadership will continue to live on. We're beyond grateful for everything that, that he's done. I think we'll take it upon ourselves to take that torch and, and continue it for the future generations. A private family service will be held, and on a later date, a public service will take place to celebrate his life. Reporting in Clayton, Justina Cornell, Five on Your Side.